You'll notice it doesn't say anything about sample size in this box here. What I'm hoping you would realize is that degrees of freedom is strongly related to sample size. So to find this answer, you would go back to degrees of freedom. You're going to click on that. It's going to take you here. And you got to figure out what kind of test it is. One sample, two sample, or paired. Let's go back and look at the question. It's an independent sample t-test. That's the same as a two sample t-test. Therefore, the sample size of the first group is added to the sample size of the second group. And you're going to subtract two. The general rule of thumb is the total number of people in the study minus the number of groups. So that's what this is. So if we have 20 degrees of freedom, we simply add two. So that means we have 22 people in this group. That's it. MGZ out.